Okay, people have been bugging me, asking how to put pictures in cockpits in War Thunder. So I've decided to make a video to get, get it done, to not have to answer 500 million comments. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but you get the point. I just don't want to keep answering the same comment over and over again. So, first thing you will have to do in order to put a picture in the cockpit is find the place in the cockpit where you will be placing the picture. For now, I will be placing some notes about uh, rip, rip speeds for the flaps, gear, and wings of the, in the F-100 Super Saber. So, I will want to put them right here where it says canopy should be jettisoned from the closed position, right below the gun sight. This will be where my notes will be. So, now that I've found where I want to place the notes, I will move over, move over to the CDK Asset Viewer, which I have here. Now, I have already found this texture. It is right, the element we're looking for is right here, I believe. Yes, it is right here, but it is inverted. Now, the way I found this is I have found the F100 uh, cockpit model under, uh, here, let me give the, let me give you the path, root game res, uh, you can hide. Oh yeah, not under aircrafts, under PKG, PKG main aircrafts. And under F100 folder, you can see the F100 cockpit mo external model here. Now, the SF viewer is glitched. It's a glitch that has been around for quite some time, but I don't really care. We don't really need to see the external model. Uh, the way I found this is uh, right here where I'm scrolling, there is the list of all the textures used in the model. Now, f with so many textures, it can be difficult to find the right one. But with some experience and fucking around and just looking at the names, you will be able to find what you are looking for. What we are looking for is the texture A underscore 4 underscore A. Now, when you, pre when you click on a window like this, it will copy the name to clipboard and ask you if you want to export it as DDS. Right now, we're not going to export it. We're going to paste the name here, which is already pasted, and press Enter to search. Now, you will see it'll, it it got us the texture of a Focal Ufa 90 external skin. But that is because right here it says A underscore 4 underscore A. So it's looking for what it's got in the search bar in the names of textures. So if we press Enter again and again, sure enough, it has found our texture. Once you have made sure that this is the texture you want to export, you will just press export to DDS here and find the right folder. My folder will be under user skins, workshop, F100 cockpit nodes, and save as DDS. Now this is pretty much all you will have to do with the asset viewer. Uh, the asset viewer is the part of the CDK, by the way. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link for the download below. Now, what you will want to do is open some sort of an image editor. I personally use GIMP with a DDS plugin, but uh, I'm not going to go into uh, how to edit or what you need. Basically, you need a software that can edit DDS files. GIMP with a plugin is one of them, and it is free, which is why I'm using it, because I'm, I don't want to pay. Now, we're going to open a file that we just exported. In user skins, workshop, cockpit notes, a4a.dds. Export it. Now, you can see that the... Uh, hang on, let me just make sure that this is the part we're looking for. Yes, yes it is. It's just upside down. Now, you can see that the texture is 2048 but by 1024 pixels. It's sort of okay, but it is kind of pixelated. So we're going to want to make it bigger. Uh, let me just remember how to do it. Uh, image. Uh, scale image. I think it was it. We're just going to bring it up to... I don't know. You think... Yeah, 8,000. 8,000 by 4,000, scale. I'm just going to zoom out here. And our texture is now scaled up. 
this will make the texture, the picture which you will put in the cockpit much more detailed. It will not make the texture more detailed. It'll be just as pixelated as it was. But the pictures we will put on will not get compressed as badly. They will have more pixels here to play with. So the next thing you're gonna, you're gonna want to do is you will I I will do it the easy way because I already have the folder open here. Uh, you can see the flaps, gear, and wings.png. Those basically tell me the combat flaps, takeoff flaps, landing gear, and landing flaps, and wings rip speeds in kilometers per hour. I will simply drag it on here, and now I have it as a layer. I won't go into editing. Uh, how to do the entire editing thing, but I will do it on screen so you can see how I'm doing it, etc. Uh, let's see. I need to close this. Oh no, that's way too big. Uh, I guess that'll do. Cancel. Uh, gear. Rotate it. Oh yeah, and then I can just place the wings here. Now, you can... Right now, I'm basically putting layers on this. I will have to merge them with the rest of the texture later on. I'm just going to put you down here. Let's see, we've got wings, gear, and flaps layers, and the base A4DDS... A4A.DDS texture. So what we're going to have to do... We're gonna have to make merge those layers down, so it basically is down to a single file. Uh, we have right now, right now, this is not editable, but it is a part of the file itself. Oh, hang on, let me just. I want to move you more a bit here. Now, as you've noticed, I am not editing this. This will be a single cut because I'm too lazy to edit. So, uh, I will put timestamps for stuff I'm doing here in the description, if I remember. If I don't, then I guess too bad. Uh, let's see, merge them down. Now, you will want to export it as a4a.dds. Now, we're going to export it as a4a underscore edit. And I will go into, D into BL BLK files later on. Please don't ask me why I exported it or as I exported it. Don't ask me why I edited it like I, like I edited it. I'm too lazy to explain. Just look up a tutorial on how to do it. At this point, we can close GIMP. I don't believe we'll need it again. And we need to open up our folder again. Ah, there it is. Uh, the GIMP window should disappear shortly. Now, we could get rid of these files, but... I'm just gonna get them out here to not lose them. Now, the I'm too lazy to make a new BLK file. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new BLK file. New text document. Uh, what was the name of the text document? Let's see. Actually, no, hang on. That's not that's not the way where you should do it. Uh, to get a BLK file. You will go into customization tab of the aircraft and press right here to make a new user skin. Now, back in our full back in our folder here and our user skins, you will find the template F100 folder which was made. Now, this is the file you are looking for. You're gonna cut it from here, place it in the workshop in here. I'm going to go and delete this folder right here. We won't need it, and I have a tendency to forget about them, so I'm just going to do it now. Now, you can edit these files with a single Windows Notepad, which is what I've been doing. Uh, you can get rid of all of these. Now, the BLK file, it's, it's a simple couple of lines of code. The first line, I don't really know what it does. I don't care, but when it's not there, it doesn't work, so just leave it here. The second line is basically... Uh, it's basically, it basically tells the game to replace texture from this texture to this texture. So we're going to change it around a bit. We're going to copy this name, Control-C. We're going to put it 
put it in here. Now leave the star on the end because then it'll look for all formats. And we're gonna go here, control C, and paste it under here and at dot.dds because our file will is in the DDS format, which you can see here. At this point, you can just save it. And the skin should be ready. Let's see, when we refresh it, we will have our skin right here. And when we go to the test flight, our textures should be in the cockpit. What do you know? They're right here. So yeah, it's, I wasn't really looking at the clock, but it didn't take me that long. I guess you guys will be able to do it quickly once you do it once or twice. So yeah, this is it. Please don't ask me more how to make this. And if you do, I will probably link you here. Uh, that's about it. Oh, and also I'm not taking any requests anymore. I'm burned out on making skins. If I post something, I will post it. I'll probably post the F100 skin I just made, but uh, that's about it. I don't expect, don't expect much from me at this point. Uh, this is kind of a goodbye, so uh, yeah, bye.